Let's replace the banner on our default dashboard. We do this by going to Organization Administration, Legal Entities. We have to edit and change the dashboard image. The best size for a banner is 1920 by 281 pixels. And we go back and refresh and we will have our custom dashboard banner. OK, let's start personalizing our default dashboard. We have all 46 preset workspaces here. We can personalize by right clicking, personalize. We can change the name or hide. If we click personalize this form, we bring up the personalization bar. We can drag and drop to reorder or we can hide multiple workspaces simply by clicking and when we are done, close. OK, let's add some information to our default dashboard. For example, personnel management. We can right click on any of these tiles, personalize, pin to dashboard. And when we return and refresh, that information shows here. OK, let's add some more information to our default dashboard. First of all, we'll add a filtered list. We can filter in a number of ways. We can look at more than one entity at the same time. We can use wildcards, for example. And we can create multiple filters by simply adding more fields. And when we have our filtered list, let's go for fixed price projects. We can save this as a tile, a list or a link to our workspace. Let's just give that a name. And we want the count on that tile. And let's have a look at a project. And again, if we use this project a lot, maybe we want to save this on our default dashboard for quick access. So we'll save that again as a tile. We'll give it a name. We don't want the count on this one. And when we return to our workspace, and refresh, we will have those tiles. And then we can right click on those and pin them to the dashboard. And when we return to our default dashboard, we will have that pinned to our project management. For quick access, we can see when they were refreshed and update them immediately. And we can go direct to that filtered list. We can pin both our action pane here and our navigation pane here. Another way to enhance our navigation is to save our most frequently visited places as favorites and they will always appear at the top of the nav pane. We can specify a different default dashboard in our main options, preferences, and we can choose from systems admin, employee self-service, or what's called the essentials dashboard, which collects all our most useful information in one place. And of course, we can completely customize this by personalize this form. We can move items around. We can hide. We can add. Over here we have our favorites and our Power BI panels as well. Let's take a look at the manage function of our personalization bar. We can export all of our customizations into an XML file to share with a colleague or import one. And on refresh, that will load all of our customizations from the file. If we want to return to default, 
we simply manage, clear and refresh again and that will take us back to default. We can save time and clicks by simply hovering over a link to get pop-up information. Let's look at grid personalization with our personalization bar. We can hide elements as usual. Clicking on the column headers, we can move them around and we can add columns. We need to click on a column header and we have a list and we can click columns to insert. And if we want to go back to default, we just clear and refresh. We can peek behind a dialog or a slider by clicking and holding outside. We can work in a number of places at the same time by popping out a window and open another workspace. And again, we just pop out the window and we'll attach that. And now we can work in both places. It's very easy to navigate even when you're not sure where the action is in your menus. Just use the action search, Alt Q, Hot Key, start typing and locate the desired action. These fast tabs only retrieve information when expanded. So if you don't use them often, you can leave them collapsed and it may improve performance. The state is remembered next time you visit the page. All through the UI, you will see these tabs. This opens the fact box side panel where you get easy access to more information. And just like the fast tabs, they only load the information when expanded. So you can keep them closed if you don't use them often.